guest gets paid to be bad. Week after week, we look forward to what she is going to do as the villainous and power-driven first lady on Tyler Perry's The Oval. Please welcome Karen Moore. Ladies. Hi. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you for having me back. It's good to see you, ladies. Yes, so I heard that you're shooting in the A right now, right? Yes, I am. I am. Thank you for having me. Yes. Well, you we know, Karen, you. your world changed overnight when you booked the role of Victoria Franklin and you play it so well on Tyler Perry's The Oval. Have you been able to splurge and treat yourself to anything as a reward for your hard work? Yes, actually, um, at the beginning of 2020, I bought a house. And I have a funny story. I I didn't have time to decorate the house. Thank you. I didn't have a time to decorate the house when I when I moved in. So I hired an interior designer and I call her the inferior designer because she came in and demoed my bathroom for a remodel, which unearthed mm -hmm all sorts of defects. And she insisted that I order custom furniture because, you know, I'm a celebrity now. And of course that's what you do as a celebrity. And I, <laughs> I am frugal, I am frugal Frida. So I, you know, the idea of that sounded completely insane, but she assured me that I would, I would love the idea. And so um, I went ahead with the investment and then here comes COVID shutting the country down. And so I had no master oh, bathroom living in my guest bedroom, no furniture. So yeah, so that was my experience. And so she had this custom furniture order. It didn't come until eight months later. Oh, so uh, oh by the time it was ready, I, I didn't even want it anymore. I was so frustrated. I just went to a local furniture yeah. store, ordered my stuff. And so that was my quarantine story. I um, learned a lot about interior design and also to trust my own instincts. I don't need an interior designer. That's right. I mean, she said That's the right. inferior designer. I'm the done. Inferior. But speaking yeah, of houses, you actually got your realtor's license, but then booked the Oval. So you never listed a house. Do your friends still ask you for real estate advice, though? All the time, all the time. But it, they don't. They don't care that I have another job. It's just like, yeah, yeah. But can you answer these here questions about you know real estate <laughs> law and comps yeah. and all that? So I would be they, that they friend. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I want you somebody to. Somebody else is interested in real estate. It's me. It's me because I want you to keep it one hundred with us. Are you one of those people who like snoops on Zillow just for fun? Like I know you have your license, but are you on Zillow just straight scrolling? One thousand percent. Like I love my neighborhood, and so anytime a <laughs> for sale sign goes up. I'm kind of peeking in there, like, because I don't, I've never been in their houses because I'm new to the neighborhood. Yeah. So I want to see what's going on yeah. in there. Yep. Yep. I do. I'm the with same. you. I think we all do that. I think we all do that. Karen, like many people, you picked a hobby during the pandemic. Please tell us what it is. It, well, you know what? I think it's an unconventional hobby for somebody like me. I kind of fell into it, but I am into the stock market right now. I think it's so interesting. And I learned a little bit about it in high school, but I didn't have any money. So now that I have a little bit, I can play around a little bit. But when I downloaded a, a, um, a stock app onto my phone. And when I did, they gave me a free stock and it happened to be GameStop. So I was wow. like, yeah, yeah. So I was so <laughs> thrilled to wake up one morning and be like, oh, she got money. So yeah, it was, it was pretty, a That's pretty incredible. cool experience. That That's is incredible. really cool. Awesome. Now an experience we both share is that I happen to have a lot of tattoos. You happen to have two, one of which you call a 17 year old's decision. I might have one of those too, because I want to hear what the tattoo is first. What is it? It is my ex-boyfriend's name. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I have it covered Where? now. <laughs> it's on my Tell it's on me my his thigh. name. Tell me his name is Ed. Tell me it's Ed. I'll tell you it's Ed. It's Ed. <laughs> oh no, how long is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Was it but a I long had name it. or a short name? It is a relatively short name. Oh, good. Okay. Got okay. It. I thought you All and right. I had something in common. <laughs> <laughs> well, you kind of do. But what are you gonna do about it? Or is that the end of the story? <laughs> no, actually I had it covered with uh, a Black okay. Panther because, you know, of course, you know, life oh. goes on and at 17 you think you know everything, but you know roughly nothing, so. Okay, <laughs> now your character Victoria has done a ton of crazy things this past two seasons. Have any of her actions surprised you? 
All of her actions surprise me um, because our personalities are so different. But if I had to choose a couple, I would say um, the time that Victoria throws a trash can of water on her daughter to wake her up. That was a little bit jarring for me. And she tases her daughter, Gail, as well. So in first in the first season. So that was pretty, um, pretty interesting. And people love it. I don't know. I've met people out while I was while I've traveled and people absolutely love the character. And they're like, oh, you tased the heck out of that girl. I'm like, are, are you, is this what people are doing? Here? I love it. Well, we're about to check out a clip from Tyler Perry's The Oval. Ma'am. Yes. This is uh, Dr. Meadows. Meadows. You yes. know her. I know her work. Oh. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Mm -hmm. So, you were sent here to help treat my son. Yes. <laughs> okay, so shall I introduce you? No, no, you know what? I would like to go alone, if that's okay. Are you sure you want to do that? Well, is he dangerous? <laughs> you are so good in this character. Congratulations on everything. Uh, Karen, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with us today. Tyler Perry's The Oval airs Tuesday nights at 9 on BET and BET Her.